first and foremost, I want to thank the Suffolk County Sports Hall of Fame for honoring my son and for all of you being here and supporting me. For those who do not know Scott's story, he's the 35-year-old cross-country coach who was shot and killed on February 14, 2018 at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida. Scott was shot by, while protecting and saving the lives of at least 24 of his students. Scott always thought of his kids first and foremost. He did so as a teacher. He did so as a group leader. He did so as a coach. Scott ultimately sacrificed his life to protect and save the lives of his kids. People are referring to Scott as a hero today. Scott was a mentor, a confidant, and a friend to his cross-country team. Scott was always a group leader. He was also a group leader at sleepaway camp for many years. As a group leader, he understood the importance of helping young people. He helped them work hard, strive, and achieve to the best of their ability. Scott, uh, Scott actually went into teaching because he wanted to go back to summer camp year after year. He'd gone to sleepaway camp since he was seven years old. Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School did not have a cross-country coach when Scott took the position. Scott had no prior cross-country coaching experience at all. When Scott met his team for the first time, he flat out told them that he did not know anything at all about cross-country running. He said he would teach them about life if, he, if they would teach him about running. And that's just what Scott did. He said, I'll teach you about life and we'll all come out on top. He encouraged his team to do their individual best. Absolutely no expectation. If a team member was upset with his or her performance after a meet, he would simply ask, did you do the best that you can do? And when they said that they did, his response was, that's great, that's all I can ask. Scott understood that not every member of his team was a great runner, but he did know that they were all dedicated students who wanted to run and compete on their high school cross-country team. He soon came to the realization that no member of his team was going to be an athletic runner and probably f few would even be successful college runners, but that did not matter. They were his runners. That was his team. Scott saw to it that the better runners worked along and supported and encouraged their teammates. They soon became a family. He instilled in every team member that they succeeded or failed as a team. This was exemplified when the team lost one of their more important meets by only a few points. The team went to Scott and asked, Coach, what do we have to do? How do we do better at the next meet? I am told that Scott looked at his entire team with his dry sense of humor and his quick wit, and he gave them three simple words of advice. He said, just run faster. <laughs> Just run faster. These simple words, these three words had quite an impact on the team. No finger pointing as to who were the better runners or who may have let down the team and helped them lose the meet. You may ask, how do I know about this? After Scott's murder, the team made up practice shirts, T-shirts and sweatshirts, which on the back read, Just run faster. Coach Beagle. In the six short months that Scott coached the cross country team and taught ninth grade geography at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School, he had an incredible impact on the members of his team, his students, and his entire community. Within days after the shooting, his cross-country team organized a run for Coach Beagle. It was organized in Parkland. This grassroots spur of the moment tribute to Coach Beagle had over 1,000 participants, including cross-country teams from all across Florida, staff, students, and first responders. They ran to honor Coach Beagle. 
this has become an annual event. As I stand here before you today, I can tell you that no mom could ever be more proud of her son than I am. In honor of Scott's memory, we started the Scott J. Beagle Memorial Fund. The mission of this fund was to send underprivileged children who have been touched by gun violence to sleepaway camp. As I stand here today, I am so honored and proud to be able to tell you that we are able to send 50 for underprivileged children touched by gun control to sleepaway camp this summer. We're sending four bunks, 32 children to Camp Junior, and those are children from the Bronx. I don't know if you know the story about Junior. He was um, a youngster who was murdered viciously and for no reason. And there's a camp that started in his honor under the Fresh, Fresh Air Fund. We're also sending 22 other children to two scope camps, 11 to each camp. This will give the children the, the privilege and, and have them be able to enjoy camp the way Scott did when he was seven and hopefully year after year. Thank you for honoring my friend. It is truly an honor that he would never believe if he was here that was be being bestowed upon him. So as I stand here in front of you, I must say, here's to you, Coach Beagle. You are my hero.